This software is supposed to offer a complete neuroanatomy course. It contains many interesting ways of learning like Flash Lessons, 3D Brain, Atlas and Flash Atlas. It also includes online tutoring option as an upgrade. While studying neuroanatomy, it's important that every single term and structure is learned because later subjects of studying neuroanatomy are related to the basic terms and so on. Missed or a term that has not been learned can make more problems later. That's why I made sure that every single thing is drawn and explained. For every single photo in Flash Atlas, there is a Flash lesson. Neuroanatomy is one of the hardest parts of human anatomy, but also one of the most interesting and still much unexplored field of medicine. It was my pleasure to develop this application and it's my pleasure to be your online tutor. I will keep updating the software, please contact me if you find any glitches, bugs, inform me about any mistakes in the application too. First of all, it's important to note that there are three axes. The vertical axe, the horizontal axe, and the sagittal axe. Now we have the same number of planes. We have the horizontal plane. It goes something like this. If we cut the man according to uh, or along the horizontal plane, the man will be cut in, in one upper and one lower part. Now there is also a sagittal plane that divides a human body in one left and one right part. And there is also a frontal plane that is supposed to divide a human body in one uh, dorsal and one frontal part, ventral part. There are also some terms very important for an air anatomy. Uh, it's a cranial, caudal, dorsal, ventral and so on. I will just write it here, cranial. It means um, move, if we say that we're moving cranial, we are moving in direction of head. So if something is more close to the head, it's cranial. And if it's away from that, let's say here or here or whatever, then it's caudal. We also have the sinister and dexter. Sinister means left and dexter means right. We have the dorsal and we have the ventral. So the ventral, dorsal, cranial, caudal, dexter, sinister. There are also a few things I'd like to point out because we don't want to confuse the terms. For example, N stands for nerve. And NCL stands for nucleus. So if you see the N, it doesn't mean nucleus, but nerve. It's very important. Also, A stands for artery. And ART stands for articulation. MED stands for medial. And not medius, uh, medullaris, whatever. And one more thing, R stands for Ramos, which means uh, an ast or a, a branch, doesn't stand for root. It's very often confused with a root. Now I will talk just a little bit more about the function of the nervous system. The nervous system is supposed to receive the stimulus, transport the signal, change the signal, save it or answer the incoming signal. So for example, here is the cell. The nucleus, dendrites, whatever, and here is the axon. And the axon brings the information 
to the rain. Okay. Now the brain is supposed to change the signal. We had the signal coming from here. This is the peripheral nervous system. And this over here is the central nervous system. So this is the afferent nerve. When the signal comes to the brain, the brain changes it, modifies it, and it can save it, or and it can also answer the signal. So we have another efferent nerve. that transfers the signal again in the peripheral nervous system. Now it can transfer the signal, for example, to the muscle fibers to cause a contraction. And now the way the brain saves the actual signal is still not very clear and it is still not researched enough. Practically one cell can either block or conduct the signal. We have the cell with its nucleus and its dendrites. Here are the dendrites. And we have the axon. So the dendrites a second this is the axon. So the dendrites receive the signal and this cell can block or it can conduct the signal further and that information equals one bit whether it blocks or it conducts further. High specified performance of our brain is the actual elaboration of all these bits. We have millions of cells and if we elaborate all these bits we get the high specific performance of our brain. It is really amazing the way it works and in these flash lessons I will try to explain you some basic structures of that system. Thank you for watching this video. This was an introduction to the neuroanatomy. Please check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com.